Today we're going to look at using RAD Context Menu with RAD Tree View. RAD Context Menu is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlot WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. In this video we will take a look at integrating RAD Context Menu with RAD Tree View. This will enable your users to perform additional functions such as adding new items, editing items, and selecting items with a simple right mouse click. Let's go ahead and jump inside of Visual Studio 2010 and get started. So here we are once again inside of Visual Studio 2010. Let's go ahead and select File, New, Project. We're going to select Telerik Silverlight, C Sharp, RAD Control Silverlight Application. And I'm just going to give this a name of RAD Context Menu TTV Tree View and select OK. Now that we did that, we're going to host the Silverlight application in a new website, and we're also going to be using Silverlight version 5. So on our next screen here, we'll see our project configuration wizard. I'm just going to scroll down just a tad here, and I'm going to place a check in telerik.windows.controls.navigation, which will also place a check in telerik.windows.controls. I'm going to go ahead, and then I'm going to hit the Finish button. Now, once I hit the Finish button, you're going to see our Visual Studio 2010 projects begin spinning up. And if we scroll over just a tad, just like in our other videos, you'll notice that underneath References, we have Telerik.Windows.Controls and then Telerik.Windows.Controls.Navigation. But we also have our XML namespace has been added for us automatically as well, which is our XML namespace for Telerik. So since this is going to be an integration demo, we're going to be using RAD Tree View and RAD Context Menu. We're going to go ahead and begin adding RAD Tree View to our grid. So I'm just going to come right here and I'm going to paste in this short code snippet and you're going to see we have Telerik RAD Tree View. We've set a margin we've set it to be is editable to true and then we also gave it a name. Now that we have the tree view on our grid we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to paste in another code snippet where we're going to add an item here. So we have Telerik rad tree view item and we're going to give it a header here of sports categories and underneath the sports categories we're going to have a rad tree view item and we'll give this a header of football and we'll just go ahead and we'll just add in two more items here. Finally, we're going to wrap up with two more items as well called tennis and then cycling. So that should be it for our actual tree view. So what we're going to need to do now is actually add in our context menu. And if you've been watching the very first few videos of this series, then you will have seen by now how we're doing this. We're going to simply do the same thing, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to paste in a code snippet here that says Telerik RAD Context Menu dot Context Menu, and then we have a RAD Context Menu, we're going to give it a name, but we're also setting up this item click event handler, which we're about to define in just a moment. So we have a new item, we have a separator here set to true, we have another item here called edit, another separator, and then finally we have our last menu item that is just select. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to my main page .xaml.cs and I'm just going to add in a method here that's going to be called private rad tree view item clicked tree view item. This is going to help us figure out which item the user actually clicked on. So I went ahead and I added my using statement which added in our using telerik.windows.controls. The next thing that we're going to need to do is actually handle that context menu click event that we defined in our main page .xaml which is listed here. So I'm going to go back to our page that we were just on and I just pasted in a code snippet. Again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to resolve 
are using statements here. So the first thing that you're going to see is that we have a string header which is e dot original source as our rad menu item dot header as string. So this gives us our header. So if in the case it's a new item, then we're going to sue a rad tree view item category equals new rad tree view item. We're going to give it a header. We're going to give it a foreground, which I'm just going to set it to a green. And then we're going to add that category to our rad tree view dot items. After that, we're going to go ahead and go to rad tree view item product equals new rad tree view item. And we're going to add in a header and then add that to the categories dot item dot add. And we're going to do the same thing for a second item, which is listed here. And then, of course, we'll break out of the case statement. If they select edit, then we're going to go to our this dot click tree view item dot is in edit mode. This is going to allow them to edit the item. And then if they select the option for select, then our this dot clicked tree view item dot is selected is equal to true. And again, we're just using this method that we created just a little bit earlier to get the clicked element. So now let's go ahead and let's run our application with start without debugging. So we see we have our tree here. We select sports categories. We see we have our football. And then we have our options listed here. Of course, we have our tennis and cycling. We can expand that and drill back up. Using RAD context menu though, we now can right click and we can select new item. Now that we selected new item, if you're remembering code behind, we selected the color to be green. So this is category one. And then we added two items underneath it, which is our product 1.1. And then I just named it the same thing, which is product 1.1. We could save that if we wanted to. We can also right click and we can select edit and instead of being product 1.1 this could be product 2.1 and then of course for a selected item we could always right click and we could choose the select. So as you may have noticed from this very short demo this is just a kind of a taste of the sort of functionality that you may want to add to your existing Silverlight applications to use RAD context menu. Thank you for watching and please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements. Thank you for watching.